down there, you can see Robert Scott's original hut that he built and wintered over here when uh, he was on his way to the South Pole way back in the early 1900s. So, Robert Falcon Scott was an Englishman who in the early 1900s had the dream of reaching the South Pole. This hut was built in 1902 as part of his first trip to Antarctica, which is now remembered as the Discovery Expedition. Even before you get in the door, you see evidence of how well preserved this site is, a seal carcass lying against the outer wall. Too cold to decompose normally, and too unpalatable for the scavenger birds, this carcass has been sitting here largely untouched for a hundred years. Inside, more seal carcass in varying stages of butchery and decomposition, as well as food rations for people and the dogs they brought with them, still sitting in their original tins from the turn of the century. You might think that with all these dead animals and old food, the hut would have an unbearably pungent odor. While I wouldn't say it smelled pleasant, it wasn't nearly as bad as what you would expect. The year-round sub-freezing weather can take credit for that, preventing all but the slowest of decomposition. Unfortunately, the cold penetrates the hut a little too well. Despite Robert Scott's best efforts at insulation and heating, the hut was too cold for housing crew, and they generally preferred to stay on their ship instead. Strewn about the hut are various tools the Scott expedition used in their endeavors, as well as evidence of a few experiments they performed inside the hut. They even stabled horses within the hut for a short time, and the original hay they shipped in still sits in a corner here. Overall, the Discovery Hut is an interesting historical landmark that has been naturally preserved by the cold weather, as well as efforts by the New Zealand government. As it's only a short walk from McMurdo Station, I highly recommend finding a certified guide in town and taking the tour. Even if you don't care for history, you'll probably find some penguins there, shielding themselves from the wind on the leeward side. Well, that wraps it up for McMurdo. The most exciting news I'd heard in a long time was that our flight to South Pole had been activated, and I can't wait to show you guys the trip from McMurdo to the bottom of the world, and show you around the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station.